Hello. A little hard surface low poly. Okay, this video is about hard surface and low poly. Okay, here is an example. I turn the wireframe on and for the other thing also. Okay, this is the low poly version and this is the high poly. Okay, and how to do this? And the poly count is uh, of the small box, I think only thousand vertices. Okay, let's start with a new scene. We don't need the sphere. We can validate the box. So the trim tool, trim settings, hole filling, I reduced everything to nothing. And in the here in the rotation, I use uh, five degrees. So Symmetry is on and here you can now trim your mesh and in the wireframe you see here at the side there are no divisions and in the voxel remesh I use yeah, a resolution 200, 300 and keep sharp edges is off and this is the remesh settings and and now let's trim a few parts away like this and press at the bottom your remesh button so And remesh it. The next step is you can use the split tool, same settings and with a rectangular you can here split your mesh like this and with a line split Sorry, we need the center. So we got now this cube in the center and with a gizmo we can scale it like this. Or you can, and always remember uh, to, to remesh when you here in the solo view, press uh, your remesh And now it's possible to trim like this or like this and remesh it. So the other parts or now we can select all parts and voxel settings and voxel merge it. And with the mirror function you can mirror it. So the object is like this and so you can go on you can um, use the split tool again sorry rectangular split it like this and like this and this one we can mirror right to the left We can use the gizmo and voxel remesh it. Select all parts, voxel merge it and mirror it right to the left. 
So, then again, here splitting and trim. Remesh. And remesh it. So let's split it here. And with the gizmo, we can. make a cut like this, select everything and voxel remesh it. There was a there was a problem. What happened here? Check it again. Okay. So, and then there's a tool, bevel tool. I put the download link in the description. It's for free. Uh, it's on the Nomads Cult forum. Here you can bevel the edges like this start always in the middle and it works only on straight lines the edges are a little bit tricky but it's okay So you can bevel everything. And use a voxel remesh. And sorry, I can undo. I think we need a bigger radius. Voxel. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah, let's do a few things. With a split, he is split it and split in this direction so we can mirror it right to the left yes and with a gizmo
So select everything, voxel merge it and mirror it. Okay, and one thing is nice. You can bring in um, a box, place it here in this somewhere here. And the box division zero. So, and validate the object. And at the, here's the insert tool, use a, the clone and place your box here on the surface. And with the gizmo, you can scale it and place it here. You can here also use um, the cell mask here, mask a part and then you can scale only in one direction, like this, and clear the mask. So, and when you now bring in an array node in the red direction, where is it? Here are the, so you can place here your objects and validate them, join the children. So in the top view, we can use uh, the trim. And I think now we have to flip, flip the whole thing. And when we hide the array and select the box and voxel merge it, so we got this and with a mirror left to the right this. So, okay. And the last step is um, it looks like this now. And now we can clone the object. Use the wireframe. And here when we use this one and we paint it it's always good to paint the whole thing and so I do only a few strokes here um, like this. So we got the second one and now the decimation comes. Okay, let's start decimation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we got 3000. Is the mesh okay? Wireframe off. And uh, we can look without smooth shading. I think it's okay. And unwrap the whole thing. And now we can texture bake from high res box and now we can activate smooth shading again let's turn on the post processing and move it a little bit to the side and leave the solo view and now you got your hard surface object with the same detail 
part with low poly. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.